hello all this is santosh and uh, welcome to tech design so in this video i have taken a simple practice model on uh, electrical routing and wiring harness so i have already made a lot of tutorials on commands that are existing in electrical wiring and harness so you can go to my channel and check out the playlist so in this video as you can see here this is a very simple model so there will be a one connector and there will be another connector so we are going to connect it by using a spline path and how we are going to do it i will just show you in this tutorial so and also we can see here there are tie wraps so our routing should go uh, you know uh, along this uh, uh, tie wraps so let, let's go into uh, electrical routing workbench and start doing this so what I will go is I will just go to application and uh, electrical here so once you do this you can see all the commands are in um, you know electrical routing so here we are going to use this spline path and we are going to try create a spline path between these two connectors so now what I will do is I will just go to spline path and inside the settings you can see here these are the options that are available so lock to selected object should be on so why have uh, you know switching on this particular uh, feature you can just go to spline path uh, tutorial you will come to know so in this one what i'm going to do is i'm going to select this port okay this is going to be my first port and i'm going to select this as a my second port okay so now you can see here the routing path has been created this is called as routing path or, or else you can also say it as a a routing spline okay the spline is being created here and now our requirement is to whatever the path is there it has to go from this tie wrap as well as this tie wrap so how we are going to do so now what i'm going to do is uh, when we are into this window i can see here new point is highlighted so we are going to create a new point here so that is going to be this point okay so here i have created one point and i'm going to create a one more point here so these are the two points that I'm going to make them on this tie wrap. So how we are going to do? I'm going to select this tie wrap and now I will select this any center point. Okay. So once I select this center point, you can see our routing path is being going from this tie wrap. So again, in the same way, I'm going to do it for this as well. Okay. So now you can see our routing path is going nearby this, but it is not. So it is not going effectively. There is so there is no proper routing so how we are going to do so i'm going to select this so now let us move this a little bit outside of the model so if i try to move it you can see it is not moving so it is particularly associated with this particular model so how we are going to delete it so once you click ok so we can just go to here in uh, in constraints and you can see here there are a lot of constraints available so actually there will be constraints available at this point also this constraint you have to delete so just right click and select from list and here you can see assembly constraint and you can just delete it right click select from list and this i'm going to delete so once i delete this uh, there won't be any you know uh, associative with this particular spline path so you can just double click on this and select this point and now we can able to move this so I'm going to move it away from this particular component. So now uh, we need to provide a uh, you know, vector here. So just go to vector and now I'm going to select this face as my vector. Okay, this is going to be my vector and I will just provide 5 mm as forward and backward extensions. Okay, so once I give 5 mm, 5 mm as a backward and forward extension, you can see our routing path is being you know um, the direction has been changed so you can just switch the direction here so once you switch the direction you can see uh, i'll just show you in the top view so i'll just click ok and uh, once you go to top view, you can see a uh, routing path is very clear now so it is going from here and it is going nearby this component in the same way instead of going inside this component we have to make it nearby to go by nearby so that it can be wrapped properly so how we are going to do it's the same way if there will be one constraint we need to delete select from list and this is a constraint and i'm going to delete it so once i delete it if i can able to move this particular component i'll just select this and we can see this uh, dynamic uh, work coordinate system so i'll just move it away from this component and now we need to provide a vector along which we need to provide a backward and uh, front extensions so I'm going to select a specify vector. So this face I'm going to select and here as well I'll say MV I'm going to provide it as 5mm and 5mm. Okay. So once I give you can see here our uh, you know uh, direction is being changed. So we can just flip this direction. So once it is flipped 
everything is good you can just click okay so now if you go to top view and see you can see here from this connector it is going and it is going up to here and then it is connecting to this particular connector so this is the way how we can do suppose if you want to add a stock for this you can just double click on this and go to circular stock and you around 2 mm as a diameter and you can just click ok so you can see here our routing has been created so this is the simple model guys so in future i'm going to upload uh, some complicated models as well so please stay tuned and if you have any doubts please comment in the section below thank you